What the fuck? Of course it's gonna to come to you. Of course you have to prepare. Of course you have to put measures in place. No one was prepared at all. So usually on this channel, we talk about how you can start your e-commerce business, then grow it and eventually sell it so you can have financial freedom for the rest of your life. And this is what we usually do. Uh, but we are located in China. We have our business here, our own e-commerce business and our education business and all of the stuff that we do, we're actually in China. So I wanted to talk a bit about something different today. I didn't want to talk about e-commerce, but I wanted to talk about COVID. And I wanted to talk about why China, like why we don't have anything. I, I keep asking me the questions. I was like, Oh man, now now we have the next lockdown. How is that in China? Like, how's your lockdown? It's like, what what lockdown? What do you mean? It's like, well, are you not locked down? No, we're not. And somehow the Western media is not covering anything like that. And I just wanted to give you my take on that a little bit and explain you how the things in China actually are related to COVID because we're good. Like, we don't have anything here. Since I think April, everything is open. We can do whatever we want. We are free because we're in China, we're in the free country. So we can actually do anything that we want to do. And uh, we're not a lockdown. We're not forced to stay home. We're not forced to stop working. And this all comes down, like, why is that? There, there are a couple of reasons. I just wanted to just, just wanted to talk about that a little bit and, and, and enlighten you and give you a little bit of a different perspective um, that the media isn't sharing, okay? Because uh, this is not as interesting and as dramatic, so obviously the media isn't, isn't sharing anything like that. But um, basically what happened in China is that the Chinese made the decision that, and I'm saying the Chinese and not the Chinese government by, by, by choice here, the Chinese made the decision in February when the COVID outbreak was here, they made the decision as, as, as one country to go in a hard lockdown, lock everything down for a limited period of time to get rid of this. The goal was always to get rid of it. In the Western world, the goal was, well, how can we, how can we minimize the take on the hospitals? That was always the thing. In China, they were prepared. They already went to SARS. So what they did is they had a couple of hospitals on in storage. And when the outbreak arised in Wuhan, they came and they put the hospitals there. Within two weeks, they put out hospital beds for 5,000 people, right? So that was the first thing that they did. So they, they, they took care of the situation. Then they distributed masks. They got the production ramped up, but they also had a lot of storage of stuff that was actually necessary, right? Protection suits for the, for the people that work there. And so, so they got everyone in there. But the one thing that really changed and the one thing that really made a big impact here is that the people held together. Like the, the, the Chinese are very, very uh, uh, pro protective about the elders and the kids, right? And they don't want to be the one harming the elders. It was not because the Chinese government put hard rules and it said everyone has to stay, stay home. No. Okay, that was one, one thing, right? But the mentality of the people was like that. The mentality of the people wasn't like, oh, fuck you, I'm not going to wear a mask. That's, gonna, that's like my rights. Like, no one gave a shit. Everyone, you know, no one wanted to wear a mask, let's be honest here, right? But people were like, okay, I want, to, they didn't wear the mask to protect themselves. They were wearing the mask to protect the elders. They didn't want to be responsible when, 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 when they do harm to the elders, right? So the whole country decided as a unit, let's go through this, Let's follow all the rules and let's get rid of it. Because once we're rid of it, then we're free again and we can do whatever we want again, right? Whereas in the Western world, it was a complete different scenario where uh, there was an avoidance, where the government wasn't prepared, where even months in the government isn't prepared and doesn't have enough material and doesn't have enough masks. And, you know, everyone does, the, and does these half ass things. Okay, we close the restaurants, but you can do the outside thing. Or we do, like, there was always just, you can do this, but you have to be in, with that distance. And, like, instead of just completely doing it, because also the people wouldn't have agreed to it. Now you can say, oh, yeah, we should have done that. Back then, you, you were not in favor of that, right? So th this is a difference. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit. And also, the other thing is that, once COVID was done here and the restaurants were opening again, every time we went into a restaurant, we had to scan a barcode. We got our temperature checked every day, no matter what. Like if you if you enter a big building, you got your temperature checked. If you had COVID, you actually, you know, they actually knew the taxi that you have been sitting in because you had to scan a barcode. They knew the metro wagon that you have been sitting in. They knew what market you have visited, what restaurant you have been in. And then they quarantined everyone. That's not nice. People didn't like that. It's like, why do I have to be quarantined? Like, I didn't even like, well, why is this about me, right? 
but because of that the, the outbreak stuff we had a case the other day in a building like like someone from germany actually came in and uh, they had uh, yeah it wasn't me uh, they had he had covid okay so he, he brought covid in and he, had, he was on home quarantine and he didn't feel well went to the hospital got positive tested and that night they tested the whole building they shut down the whole building and everyone got tested in the building right did it suck for those people did it suck for those people? Yeah, it did suck. They didn't want to be tested at midnight. Of course it sucked. They didn't want to do it. But you know what? Because of measures like that, 17 million other people in the city didn't have to be tested, didn't have to stop working, didn't have to take it, didn't have, have to stop taking a salary. Every, the, the, everything keeps running, right? Because everyone is, you know, holding this together. Um, there was an outbreak in Qingdao. And saying that when I say outbreak, there were like a dozen of cases. Okay, that's what the what what they call an outbreak. So there were like a dozen of cases where in the Western world it's like, oh, it's not so bad. It's just it's just a dozen of cases. Well, twelve turn into a hundred, a hundred into a thousand, and that turns into ten thousand, and that's that's happening over four weeks, right? So so what what the government here did is like, oh shit, we have twelve people. So let's test the whole city. So they tested nine million people in three days. Right? They didn't want to be tested. They didn't want to do this. But you know what? Everyone did it anyway. They tested it. They took the people out that were tested positive. Everyone was quarantined. And everyone else went on with their life. You know, yes, it sucked for three days. But it didn't suck for a year. And this is going to go on for much longer. When was the outbreak in, in, in the Western world? March? April? Right? And, and this is another thing that, that I'm like, what the fuck happened? Because in February... Everyone knew that there is a virus in China. And when the, when the outbreak hit in April, no government was prepared. How can that, how can that happen? How can that happen? That the, the governments in the Western world go like, oh yeah, there's this outbreak in China, but probably it's not going to come to us. Maybe it's a Chinese thing. What the fuck? Of course it's going to come to you. Of course you have to prepare. Of course you have to put measures in place. No one was prepared at all. Nothing was prepared. Right? So... That's another thing, like, why did that happen? Why did no one plan for this? You always think, like, oh, like, in case of a disaster, the government has a plan, right? In case there's a nuclear thing, or in case there's an earthquake, or in case there's something happening, like a, like a power outage. In case there's a disaster happening, oh, the, 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 there's probably an emergency plan. Now it gets revealed, they don't plan for shit. There's nothing prepared. Right? And the whole attitude was different. The whole attitude was not, let's get on top of this and let's get rid of it. But the attitude was, let's minimize what it does to us. But now you're half-assing it. And now you have to go into a lockdown over Christmas. Like, that's not cool either. Right? And instead of, pro instead of people protesting for, uh, we shouldn't wear masks, the thing is not proven. Blah, like, what the fuck? Just get rid of it. Just decide as a nation, let, let's do this for four to six weeks. And then we're good for good. Then we're good. But instead of that, we do what we do. And, you know, this is this is situation. So I just wanted to show you a little bit how it's different in China. Because I think a lot of people kind of, uh, you know, think of China in a different way. And no one talks about China. Like, we're good. You know, we don't have any issues anymore in China. We can do whatever we want. And we're free. And, you know, we don't. I think China right now is the safest place to be. And not only the safest place, but also, like, being in China. I know that. It's, it, someone's going to take care of it. If, if something happens, if there's another outbreak and we have to go back into lockdown or something, I know that it's going to be a temporary thing, right? That gives me the confidence to, do cert, to make certain decisions for my business. It gives me the confidence to have certainty for the people that, that, that I care for, right? And that is so important. So uh, I hope you guys can, can, you know, get the vaccine real quick and get through this. And, you know, but probably it will still take half a year, maybe maybe a full year, maybe a whole 221, we're still going to have to deal with that. And if you're in the e-commerce world, you know, there are good sides to that because every time there's a new lockdown, sales go up for you. Um, so, you know, there's a good side to that for, for, for this. Obviously, you know, you, you don't want to have people get sick and you want to protect everyone. So that's just my take on that. And uh, yeah, take care. I'll see you tomorrow with more e-commerce stuff. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we can get you started uh, for your e-commerce business. We can help you grow your e-commerce business. And when you get there, we can actually help you sell your e-commerce business and broker a deal for you. So make sure that you leave me a comment below. 
um, what you thought about that video and and uh, if you want to hear more things like that or if you want to go back to e-commerce just let me know in the comments and i'll do whatever you want me to have a good day i'll see you tomorrow cheers